have to go a little north to see the sunshine right now. Yes, I gently corrected you uh, earlier. You. Well, and it's one of those things, like, so if you live in it's Portland. It's not wrong. It is cloudy it's when cloudy I look outside. Yeah, yeah. It's just, um, <laughs> we have, like, look at this satellite picture. And this happens, um, but wait, hold on. Wait, oh, where's the satellite? Come on. There it is. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Look, it's just like basically One Portland down to left. York. But yeah, um, a pretty heavily populated part of the state right now under this chunk of clouds. But we do have sun to the west and a lot of us are sunny. So if you are cloudy now, you should break out. Temperatures have been relatively slow to respond. We're right around 50 degrees in uh, Wiscasset, 46 in Portland, 50 in Augusta, 49 in Bangor. So we should be able to get into the mid 50s by later this afternoon. A couple upper 50s are possible if we get the sun working just right this time of year. Sun angle is similar to late August this time of year, believe it or not. So that's why it feels so nice if you get outside and you get hit by those rays. But also remember, sunscreen a factor, even if it's 50, doesn't really matter. So you can see this model already thinks it's a little bit warmer than it is. But over the next few hours, I do think we'll get into the upper 50s. A stray 60 is possible. We start tonight mostly clear. And I think tomorrow overall has improved how it looks. It's still gonna be Milky. There's going to be a lot of clouds around, but they're high thin clouds as opposed to low clouds all day, which is what it looked like originally. So I think it makes it for a nicer day. It's, it's uh, except you're over southern and western Maine here, maybe York County back into New Hampshire. Those clouds are low, but all these are just kind of milky sky clouds through the afternoon, 50 to 55. It stays dry, so decent. And then on Sunday, this front approaches and the models have gone back and forth on the timing of this front exactly. And now they've settled on a slower solution, which gives us more of the day on Sunday. This is 7 a.m. in which it's cloudy, but it's not raining. And that rain is going to be right here over New Hampshire for several hours. It's going to be knocking on the doorstep, but it should be able to stay out of Maine until the afternoon, uh, even over western Maine. This is 4 o'clock and here it comes. Even a little quick sleep pellet action possible into the mountains. Once this rain moves in, it is heavy, but it's slow moving. This is seven o'clock on Sunday and then midnight. It's moving in Monday morning over down East Maine and right in this zone, we could pick up three quarters to an inch of rain. So will be some heavy downpours involved in that, but we get a slightly slower solution, which gives us more of the weekend. So as we go forward here, the pattern is just going to be on the coolish side. Our average high this time of the year is actually 56. So we're playing on the wrong side of the field, as they would say, generally in the low 50s, especially on the coastline, we'll have some days in the upper 40s. Sunday's one, Monday, perhaps Tuesday in the upper 40s along the coast, and then we should be able to at least get in the low 50s Wednesday and Thursday. So that's the overall feeling with the big trough across the east, keeping us a little bit unstable through next week. So the only period of legit rain again is Sunday night into Monday. After that, we get into a pattern of several days of shower chances. Uh, and there's kind of variations of it. And I noticed, um, so the morning crew took out the showers on Wednesday and Thursday. Fine, I, I, think, I think there's some pop-up stuff around, but I don't think it will be rainy. And that's always a, a challenge when you look at the icons versus reality. The icons mean it on Monday morning, but the rest of the shower chances are, are more scattered. And we see that through mid next week. I don't see a big change to this pattern. I think we ride this mm. through next week. Even looking into long range, it's just kind of where we're living at here. At that point, we're late April. Yeah. yeah, that's why I think through the beginning of May, I think this is kind of our pattern. This is what we're dealing with. Yep. All right, Keith, thanks.